Stuck inside, it feels like forever So long without any end in sight Right now feels just like every other minute of every other day Hope a change comes my way All I need is love to get me through the day and through the night Love is all I need from you Then I'll be alright Forget what day it is like I'm crazy My thoughts are messy and I
thoughts are messy and I feel a little distressed. Incredible, I've got you closer than six feet as we take each day in stride. I need to get outside. All I need is love to get me through the day and through the night. Love is all I need from you. Then I'll be alright. All I need is love to get me through the day and through the night. Love is all I need from you. Then I'll be alright. All I need is 
love to get me through the day, through the night. Love is all I need from you, then I'll be alright. All I need is love to get me through the day, through the night. Love is all I need from you. Welcome, welcome, welcome all of you beautiful people out there. We are here live right here at the Gage Academy of Art. This is our annual gala auction, art auction and uh, fundraiser. I'm here with the one and only Hillary Lee. Hi everyone. Wonderful to have you by Thank my side. Thank you. Yeah, I know, welcome. I love this like co-hosting energy we got. I like that, yeah. I know we're vibing. <laughs> uh, we are streaming live. We are really live, live right live. here in the studio. And you are live at home and my only regret is that we are not live together. But that does not get in the way of our purpose here tonight and that is to support this fantastic institution. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we want to make sure, uh, look at this gorgeous floral display. It comes from uh, Flowers on 15th and we really want to give a big shout out to all of them uh, over there at Flowers on 15th it's for so their beautiful. support. It's really is. So pretty. Now this is important, uh, this housekeeping I've got to do here. Uh, so the way we're doing this, we're uh, bidding on mobile bidding. And so you're going to need either a computer or an iPod. I have my iPad right here to keep track. Uh, so you want to be on that to watch the program. You're going to want to bid on your mobile phone. And so you should be seeing a slide right now in how to bid. If you have any questions at all, uh, just call us. Uh, I will not answer. Hillary will not no, I answer. Don't have a phone. We don't actually have the answers that you need, but there will be somebody well, there. We'll entertain you. Uh, yeah, and uh, if if you're uh, on the chat, don't forget to uh, chat with us because we've got people ready to chat with you. If you have questions about anything, you need technical support, put it in the chat. Although if you need technical support, you probably don't know how to chat. I'm just <laughs> answering my own question. Again, just don't call me <laughs> or him. Don't call yeah. me or me. We're busy, <laughs> I know, for God's sake. I know, right? Oh, how I wish uh, I could see all of you friends from past years. It is great to I be back you with you. I yeah. know. But uh, let's get to the work at hand, because we've got a great program for you. We're going to take up about an hour of your time. We've got some fantastic live so art. amazing all, this is all of the live behind us and they are all open now everything is going to close down at the end of the program we'll warn you uh, all the way through and monitor how you're doing but you can be bidding right now these live items have been open the silent items will stay open until 10 tonight so that that's gives, exciting yeah if you don't get something yeah, like in the live you still can get something i'm in. still debating on a few pieces myself so that gives me some time no doubt if i see you wander off because you're right? bidding yeah I'm, I'm busy bidding oh yeah. that's good okay. yeah i will encourage that type of activity uh so if you're gonna maybe you're gonna donate in somebody's name put that in the chat if you're you want to just give a shout out to your friends put that in the chat in the chout. Uh, see, I'm combining chat and <laughs> I've made so a new term. You chout, you chat, and you shout. You yes. chout. Yes. Uh, I want a little, uh, I want, what is that? Uh, I Texting. Want, no, I want, I want money for that. <laughs> <laughs> I want Give us money. Yes, I want a yes it's That's money. Word, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here for my <laughs> first senior moment. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so uh, you can bid on all the live items, they're open right now, and you are giving through Max Giving, and you can just place your bids right in those boxes on Max Giving. Or maybe you're old school like me, just send us a check, it does not matter, because what matters is supporting Gage, and that is Gage. what tonight is all about. Uh, now, he, you've been a long time yeah, associate uh, yes, with Gage. Yeah, so I'm like, you know, I used to... Um, volunteer in the teen art program Good when Gage was still in the University Heights building a long time ago. Wow. It was so amazing. I know. You were I look, what, five? I look great. No, <laughs> no, I was like in my 20s. But um, no, it's so great to um, be involved again with Gage. Uh, it's such a great community and I'm just happy to be here with you and celebrate all the awesome things Gage does for the community. And you know, uh, maybe we've all obviously been you know, sequestered. We are vaccinated. That's why we're not mm -hmm. wearing our masks. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we're getting back to normal, some sense of normal. And this last year, though, uh, the artists have been busy. They have been creating 
fantastic art. Uh, we have a bunch of it here uh, behind us that is live. Uh, a wonderful selection in the silence, so check out all of those items. There are wonderful opportunities just waiting for your bids. Uh, right now, I do want to po uh, point out two of the uh, live experiences that are in our live auction. They're very and, exciting. Uh, and I want to remind you, too, that on the silent items, you can always do the buy it now. And that's a great opportunity. You could, that just takes it off yeah, the table when you buy it, it now. Yeah, guarantees it. Some already bought those donuts I wanted to buy. So. Oh, were you after the donuts? Yes, oh, I really so like those. Yeah, we'll, anyways. We'll, we'll get you some donuts. <laughs> uh, now, uh, another one of these live uh, items is wonderful. It is a private dinner for six people with our own <gasps> executive director. He's standing right in the back here. I know. Stefano Catalani. Just shout, Stefano. Hey! There he is. <laughs> he's, he's already thinking about the dinner he's going to create. And the guest artist uh, going to be at that dinner with you is the one and only Patty Warashina, a wonderful, nationally known artist. This is a chance for she is amazing. you to spend an evening. She is. She's absolutely uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm totally nerding out. And That's this amazing. will be That's at, the, uh, at the spectacular setting, uh, the home of architect Robert Edison Swain. So thank you so much, Bob Swain, for that. Thank you, Patty Warashina. Get your bids on that. I was that monitoring that before. That is such a before. cool package. That's going so really cool. well. So get those yeah. bids up yeah. there. The other one opportunity that is not art is an amazing getaway to New York. Oh an my God! Arts immersive trip yes. to New York City. Yes. And this is a yeah. week. It's at an updated Upper West Side condo Ooh. <laughs> located. It's just one block from Central Park. Uh, and Amy Snyder is a New York-based contemporary art advisor. She will be your personal guide as you explore the Ch Chelsea Gallery District. So cool. Uh, that tour is up for up to six people. Uh, it's an hour and a half uh, gallery tour. And this is just a great, great opportunity to go to New York for a week, have a great condo. Uh, it includes airfare for two on Delta. Thank you so Ooh. much to Delta for that. Thank you, uh, Connie Mao and Amy Snyder on that one. So get those bids. Uh, last time I looked, an anonymous dinner was up and over $4,000. Wow. I saw, Lily Scanduzzi, I saw you were bidding on this and uh, and some other great bidders there. So it's worth get it. your bids on the Worth oh, it. Incredibly worth it. You know, I was going to bid on it. <laughs> I know. I dropped out after 500 bucks. I just, that was it. Uh, I just said, nah, I can't do that. that those two gifts are, oh, packages sound so cool. Uh, so right now, uh, those are those. Uh, we're going to keep monitoring that live. But right now, Hillary, I'm going to turn it over. You have a very special <gasps> guest. Yes. Well, I have the honor of introducing the one, the only, Stefano Catalani, Executive Director of Gage Academy of the Arts. I'm going to step out. Come on in. Yay. Thank you, Hilary. Uh, good evening, everyone. I would like to start by thanking our event sponsor, Perkins Cui, for their general support of the Spring Art Auction this year. I also want to thank all the businesses and all the artists who donated uh, to the live and silent auction. Uh, my gratitude also goes to the Board of Trustees, the Gala Committee, the Gala Chairs, the staff, the instructors, the models, the students, the volunteers. It's the whole learning community here at Gage. Your investment of emotions, intellect, and financial resources is what really makes Gage a special community I'm proud to be a part of. The past year has been difficult and demanding, to say the least. Uh, the pandemic of the novel coronavirus and the epidemics of social and racial injustice have challenged all of us. As an institution, Gage was called to face both. Now, over the past 12 months, the imperative has been reimagining the way the school could continue to serve and nurture the community of students, while at the same time accelerating the process of becoming inclusive and diverse. In other words, become an authentic public space for all. As you will hear this evening in interviews and the videos, we embarked on a journey of transformation. In an incredibly uh, huge effort, we pivoted to online with our platform Gage360. And that was not just enough for us. Thanks to generous donors, we launched R2Go, a weekly series of free art classes for the whole family as a form of public service to the community at the height of the lockdown. And I know many of you took advantage of that opportunity. In September, after a lot of deliberation, after substantial investments and adoption of strict safety protocols, Gage actually reopened his studios to the atelier students, about 100 of them, both here in George and in Georgetown. This was a decision that was inspired by the desire to support their artistic growth. 
This was our part as a response to COVID, but there is also the other part that we need to talk about. Over the last year, Gage has invested and is making strides in advancing equity at all levels of the institution with the goal of creating an infrastructure, so to speak, supportive of diversity and inclusion. From representation in the leadership team, the staff, the board, uh, the students, of course, the instructors, the curriculum, the scholarships, and the outreach to underserved communities, of those that never saw us as a, a viable way to access art. Overall, in the past year, we learned to embrace the limitations of this moment, but also learned about how to reimagine and reinvigorate our school going forward. And this is what I want to talk about. Uh, let me plug this. Take a look at our upcoming summer youth camps, for example. There are so many options for your young artist, whether online learning, in the classroom, right here in Capitol Hill, or hybrid. And going forward, expect from Gage such a variety and flexibility of formats to become the norm or browse our summer adult classes that we just published yesterday. The roster of teachers is one of the most diverse Gage has ever offered, and the curriculum also is one of the most inclusive. Again, thanks to the programming staff. Going forward, expect this also to be the norm. What I'm excited about tonight, standing here, acting like an actor, is that um, we turn challenges into opportunities, and that's what is good about Gage. And this was possible thanks to all of you, the whole Gage community, uh, through your encouragement, feedback, a time positive, a time negative, what I call tough love, right? Because you care about us. And above all, your generosity, really your generosity. So tonight my dream is to make our goal just shy of 300,000. I don't want to say 296, let's say 300, okay? So I ask that you will bid high on the auction items and generously raise the paddle. Uh, your support this year really will make it possible for Gage to continue to serve the community and especially the free programs that cater to underserved youth and also continue to inspire and nurture all students' aspirations so that they are empowered to go back into the community and share their vision, their story, their perspective and become agents of change in a truly diverse democracy. Thank you. And now, it is my honor to introduce you to the performance tonight. The following performance is an incantation, a sonic offering by composer, shape-shifting siren artist Okanomodi. Okanomodi created this work as a commentary on this current cultural moment of awakening, global change, and human survival. Transmitting live and direct from hijacked soil. This desecrated sacred land of my Duwamish and Coast Salish kith and kin. Well, I'm back here. The spoken word performance contains a singular and changing phrase, Ghost of the Human in Solidarity Square, which is also the title. While this phrase and image is open to the interpretation of the viewer, this premiere tonight is less about what we see than what we feel. So the artist actually is inviting you to close your eyes for the duration of this piece, breathe deeply, and meditate on the sound of the voice and the spoken words. I will be doing that. Thank you. Transmitting live and direct from hijacked soil. This desecrated sacred land of my Duwamish and Coast Salish kith and kin. My clay and earth-hued siblings and nibblings. I come imbued as multitudes in a multiverse. I come imbued as we. We with the blood of African Aboriginal black light of the universe. Uprooted, displaced, and stolen from our mother's womb. Treasure born of chaos and such mighty attempt to snuff out our light and our love. Forced laborers and builders of every nook, cranny, and institution of this nation. We, 
tribal siren artist afronauts of this time and no time. Our ancestors' technicolor dream, light beam, materialized as sound wave and clarion call, a quake enough to shake the entirety of this planet Earth from apathetic slumber. We were not sent here as friend, nor sent here as foe. We were divinely sent as prophecy. Bronzed and beautiful, smooth as tourmaline, the echoing well of children, wings soaked in crimson, a sculpture garden of scattered hearts. We are a soft cloud of makers and weavers and builders of yesterday's world and the world to come. Do you hear the rumble? Can you hear the march of time? The electric rise of the broken, the stillborn leaping from the frames, the crumbling of kingdoms and the burning of the ladder? Well, this is our offering, a ritual burning, a time for healing, a time for ancient ways to fall away, a time for feeding the hungry, of giving them not merely morsels, but the entire garden and the tools with which to conjure crops. This is the time for leaving behind all notions of what's been told as charity, of stripping away the fashion of the day, of getting out of their way and standing naked before yourself, a shivering emperor. It is time to let go of slogans and false promises. It is not the rainbow palette harnessed or caged, but colors running wild and free. It is not merely the taste of honey, but the heartbeat flutter and sting of the bee. It is not a shelter tax that brings one heaven, but the courage and sparkling branches of a giving tree. So who but the artist will summon the courage for the building of the new world? And who is the artist who recreates life upon waking every day, orders their steps to bring new love to family, neighbor, and masses. Yes, Yes, this is a call in, a love spell, an invitation to experience healing in the waters of creation beyond imagination, to bring rest to the weary, to come unglued and undone, to listen and learn from they who have been violently silenced, disembody and break from archaic paradigm, leave behind these ruins of war, reflect on what will be our contribution, our soul's legacy, reflect on whether we are in step or out of time, reflect on whether we wish to come along or get left behind. There will be them who cannot abide the changing tide, but the book of the living says that change is inevitable. So the train is fueled up and unbound for glory. Are we ready for the next adventure, another horizon, a world without conquerors or oppressive regime? It is a gift to be invited to this dream factory, this place where desires do not harm but heal, this place where the abstract is made real, this place free from territorial pissing, this place with neither strings nor ropes, unless playing cat's cradle or double dutch, where black girls and black women and black remixers of gender are exalted and left to be free, where dismantle and abolish our magic spells, where we expect and are given more than bare minimums, where black matter lives and brown matter lives and indigenous matter lives, where the body is a celebration and never an apology. Shout out to Sonia Renee Taylor, ambassador of radical self-love. Yes, this is an invitation to a reinstatement of your wildest childhood dreams. Now what of your child heart do you have to share? Wow, an amazing piece. So Thank good. you once again to uh, uh, Okanamode. 
and uh, really spellbinding piece. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, keep the bidding going. Uh, the live auction items are all going to close, as I said before. If you just tuned in, welcome, by the way. I'm David <laughs> Silverman. This is Hillary Lee. Hi. And uh, keep that bidding going. You're doing great. I'm monitoring this. Ooh, yeah, what's happening on the bidding? The trip to New York is up and over $4,000. An anonymous wow. bidder. Narupa. I saw you bidding there. Now, come on. You know New York wants to see you, so get on in there. Uh, this Clive Smith is amazing. Ooh. That's up at over $600 right now. The Costa, uh, I'm going to butcher this, Vava Giacus. Is that, do you know that? Is that how you say that? You don't know, Kimberly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking you. Uh, but that's up and over $1,100, doing great. Uh, my favorite, David Dwyer. David, wow. hello. I miss seeing you. Uh, the David Dwyer, let's see, that's up and over $1,100 right now. Or $900, i am sorry, I was looking at Oh, look at this, the, uh, let's see, the uh, Jared Rue right now Ooh. is up and over $3,000. There are some minimums on these, so uh, make sure that you keep that bidding going. We want to make sure that all of this yeah, wonderful- Yeah, keep bidding. Art uh, goes out the door tonight, and uh, again, we we cannot thank the artists enough for their wonderful donations yes. and, and all their hard work. That's why um, we're here. It's about the artists. It is about the artists, and more importantly, it's it's uh, not more importantly, but as important is tonight is just about this institution, making sure that we go forward and that it is a healthy institution, and we can only do that with your help. And so what you're doing here tonight is just wonderful. Keep it up. Uh, keep those silent bids going, too. And don't forget to keep chatting with us and let us know how Ciao. you are doing. And have another drink, because, of course, that always helps. You yes. know that does. Duh. Duh. <laughs> we, you know, uh, Gage has been in the community for over 30 years, uh, has played an important role in the artistic community. And er, they've got a, a whole array of different programs. And right now, uh, we want you to watch this video on the various I'm programs. excited. Yeah. yeah Gage I'm excited. in the community. Yeah. Take it away. What Gage does is we link students who have a passion to learn with artists who have a passion to teach. Gage is important because it connects with all kinds of members of the community. For me, the one that really started it for Gage was the teen art studio. It's like all of the instructors have have their own style. They're so talented and so creative. And yet at the same time, they're, they're able to convey that to their students. One of the best parts about Gage really is the fact that as instructors, we have the opportunity every quarter to suggest new classes, suggest new materials, new lectures. Every quarter, it can be new. To me, what makes Gage Academy different from a lot of other artistic experiences, especially accredited institutions, is that the student really has the, the power, they're empowered and they have the flexibility to really navigate and select their own artistic um, roadmap. They can decide whether they want to go to the ateliers, to individual classes, to lectures, to the SAI program. There's a bit of something for everyone and you don't have to have gone to art school first. You don't have to have had a background in art. You can start here and really gain the skills and knowledge you need to develop your own practice. Gage is sort of this hybrid. So we have a youth program. Uh, we have continuing ed class classes for adults. And we have this program called the Atelier Program, uh, which no other community art school in the country has. So we have seven ateliers each run by an artist. And basically we give them the keys to the kingdom. You can structure it any way you want. In the wake of COVID-19 and the social political climate um, that's arisen in the past year, it's really forced us to rethink how we approach arts education learning in this new landscape. Also, the exciting aspect of embracing hybrid learning that'll become part of our everyday programming at Gage, and also embracing the incredible possibilities that come with remote learning that we reach um, folks from, you know, areas outside of Seattle, outside of Washington State, um, and really interact with other people from across the country, and, and in some cases, like our drawing jam across the world. Maybe the silver lining in this cloud has been being able to connect over the internet, over Zoom, and uh, connect with like-minded people, connect uh, with uh, with folks we may never have even met before. So we started Art2Go, 
and I was teaching kids and adults at the same time. We had classes that were sometimes 250, sometimes 300 people, kids, adults, all in the same class, and it felt so good to connect and to just see all these beautiful faces and to be able to connect through something that we knew we were all going through so much. Everyone had their own thing they were going through, but to be able to connect through art felt so grounding. I know so many youth who have come to Gage and whose lives have been shaped by learning creative practice in this space. One in particular stands out. A young person who came, they were feeling really lost and they found a group of young people that shared similar interests and they connected with that group and that helped shape the decision of what high school they wanted to go to. And that same group came every Friday night all through high school. And now that we're moving forward into a new chapter in Gage's history and really embracing diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives through programming, um, really looking at how we empower our instructors in the work that they're doing now in the classroom and how they interact with students, um, really sort of creating and building a more equitable tomorrow. So my hope for the future of Gage is that we become even more inclusive community and that we become a more accessible community to even more people and that the skills that we teach here inspire artists to go out in the world and just make amazing work to share with the world. Whenever I model, I, I always come, in, come away feeling like, like, like I just have so much to offer. If Gage didn't exist, I think that that's something that, that Seattle would really, really miss out on. And they you know, wouldn't know it. For me, I believe in the simplicity of rebuilding, reconciling, and reimagining. Those are the three sort of R's that sort of guide me, and that's pushing me forward in this role and, and sort of the vision for um, our Department of Programming here um, at Gage Academy. But there is a lot that goes into putting all the programs together. I mean, it really is contingent on donations and the help of the community. We, we wouldn't have what we have here at Gage without that community involvement, and it's so important. Oh, that is wonderful. That's I'm so always good. amazed by the talent and the dedication of the Gage students and all of the teaching artists. So that was a wonderful piece I know, I'm to just, see. I'm just so inspired by, you know, youth artists of today. The teen art program has really expanded since I've been involved. It's really amazing. Thank you to all the donors um, who supported this program. It's so nice to see a lot of these youth artists just kind of develop through the program and then become instructors themselves. It's an amazing yeah. legacy for Gage. And I am told also, uh, I want to remind you all, if you're trying to chat on YouTube and you don't have an account, uh, that's why you're not able to chat. So uh, make sure you have a YouTube account if you're trying to chat on YouTube. I'm saying words that I don't even understand right now because I am so I don't have a, I don't have a YouTube account. <laughs> but that is what they told me to say, and I yes. believe them because they would not lead me astray. You did so, a great job. Did I? Did, yeah, did I like understood I, everything you said. It sounded like I knew what I was yeah, talking about. Totally. There for a second, didn't yeah, totally. Yeah. All right, we're gonna check in on our live items. More uh, live items. This is exciting. And I'm really gonna go into a little detail. I have my cheat right here uh, so uh, look at this uh, well first of all it looks like that um, I got to back up here now and Ooh. oh uh, the Costa Babakiakis uh, is right there absolutely gorgeous piece uh, we're gonna give you a little close-up there and it really is a stunning stunning so beautiful. piece uh, and Costa has exhibited extensively in galleries museums throughout the United States uh, this is 17 by 12 inches uh, or 19 by 15 framed uh, just so you get an idea of that size and it really is a stunning piece and it looks like that's already up and over eleven hundred dollars keep that up uh, the Clive Smith right down here Ooh. is doing very well. Let me get my iPad out of the way here. Uh, the Clive Smith is really, really a stunning piece. And uh, I can tell you that Clive Smith works in New York, uh, worked uh, and received a BA from Kingston Polytechnic in Kingston upon Thames. Ooh. I've always wanted to say that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know I wanted to say it until right now. Uh, and uh, he was also commissioned to create a portrait of Sir Ian McKellen. But that's not him. That is not <laughs> Sir Ian McKellen or Sir Ian McKellen in one of the most 
mind-boggling roles he's ever had <laughs> right there. Uh, or maybe the David Dwyer speaks to you. David, of oh, course, is I a favorite. A still 2007 life. graduate of the Aristides Classical Atelier at Gage. He's also on the Gage Board of Trustees and is simply one of the nicest people you could ever want to be around. So that is David Dwyer's piece right there. And that is doing very well, up and over $900. Right behind, oh, Hillary, you're, you're doing a good Vanna right yeah, there. Yeah, I know, just blocking the artwork. Vanna yeah. the Jared Rue right there because uh, uh, Jared has exhibited many solo and group exhibitions uh, during his 18 uh, year career uh, and he's got work in many many private collections uh, and he's also got uh, he's got a work in the US Embassy in Bangkok Whoa. Uh, the Microsoft collection Nordstrom uh, all over the place Swedish hospital uh, you look around the city and you're gonna see Jared Rue's work uh, or maybe the uh, Mark Kang O'Higgins piece speaks to you. This is absolutely lovely. Oil on canvas, 36 by 36. Uh, he is a fine artist living and working in Seattle. Amazing. His work's been showing Amazing all around in Seattle, New York, uh, you name it. And he has been there. And uh, his work is really, really in demand. Let me check in and see if I can find out how that is doing right now. Of course, it's not coming up on my computer right when I want it, but it is doing very well. There is a minimum on that, so make sure you get that going. Another phenomenal artist that we've had before, uh, Max Ginsberg, and this is a 14 by 18 called Madeleine Couch Composition. Uh, he's one of the most respected and highly accomplished social realist painters today for nearly 50 years, wow. his paintings have depicted the human condition, multi-award winner. I mean, this is one of the most respected artists that we have uh, every year, Phenomenal. and it is wonderful. This is a really, really great piece for you collectors out there. Uh, let's see what else we've got. The Kimberly Trowbridge right here, one of our favorites. Uh, oil on paper, on panel, backyard ferns. And uh, we're gonna maybe talk more about that later. We might talk about more about this later, but mm -hmm. let's see how this is doing right now. Of course, I can't find any of these. When I, oh, it's up and over $1,200 right Ooh. now. Keep those bids going. This piece right next to uh, Kimberly's piece is the Norman London uh, landscape. It is, it is so small, but so wonderful. Uh, and uh, Norman has had over 70 solo exhibitions. His work is included in the Museum of Modern Art in New York, in Chicago, the Art Institute, Seattle Art Museum, the Portland Art Museum, name a museum, his work is probably there. Uh, he attended Miami University, uh, Ohio School of Art in Chicago, apparently could not stay in school. And Look at all, all these these different accolades. Ones. Look at uh, all those accolades. Like yeah. But this is a stunning piece. It's beautiful. And I hope that, the, the, that online you can tell how stunning this is. That is the hardest thing about all of this. Uh, the Tom Hoffman is right behind Hillary over there. Gorgeous watercolor, 22 by 30. Uh, paints from life in the city and remote landscapes in the Northwest, one of the favorites. Uh, he's been painting on Lopez for over 20 years, and uh, his respect for both his subject and his medium are unmistakable. Uh, he teaches three levels of watercolor right here at Gage Academy. Wow. Uh, this Patty Bowman right here is really a playful piece. It is cast in caustic on panel, and I. I can't really describe because uh, she cast all of these pieces. They look like they're Lego pieces. They're not. She cast these piece pieces, and uh, they're, I mean, it's really an amazing, amazing work when you look at cool it. A lot of cool texture. Really cool texture. So uh, if you're getting a close-up of that, great. And then, of course, uh, one of my favorites every year, this year, the, uh, Patrick Le Cicero, The Suitor. Playful work, uh, he received his BFA from Ohio State and his MFA from San Francisco Art Institute. Uh, he is an adjunct fa uh, faculty member at Cornish uh, and his work is included in many private and public uh, collections all over the country. Uh, he's wow. been a recipient of the Maryland State Arts Award and a San Francisco Artist Relocation Grant. Uh, great, great work in Excellent this year's selection. live auction. Yeah. yeah, you have your eye on one of these? Um, well, you know, I did marry a dentist, so I'm going to see what my husband wants to buy me, but all of the above, really. We have no dental-themed work. I, I don't, but he uh, has the money to buy me artwork, is if, what I'm saying. If you had just texted me, I would have done a special, like, maybe we can some get dental-themed art here, and, and yeah, boom, right? then your husband would be like, give that to me, that's what I want. 
Uh, now, we are at a very special moment. Yes. Uh, and so, Hillary, I'm going to turn this over to you. Oh, it's so my turn to talk? It what? is your time oh. for a special time. Yeah, I know. I have the honor and pleasure of introducing one of our amazing artists, Kimberly Trowbridge. Come on down. She is the one who painted this beautiful piece, which we'll talk about in a minute. She also has an exhibition at the Bainbridge Arts Museum, so you should check it out. Hey, lady. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. I, I love you so much. I love you. So I love you. This is so cool. Hello, Hi, everybody. everyone. Yeah, so just My like... beloved Gage community, I'm so honored to be Yay. here and to be speaking to you. Thank you so much for being here. So tell everyone a little bit about your artwork. Just introduce yourself for those of you who don't know so you. So this piece in particular, which is called Backyard Ferns, mm -hmm. is an intimate piece because it was painted in my South Seattle backyard. Ooh. And so for many years now, I found a lot of meaning and pleasure in painting mm -hmm. directly from the landscape. Oh, many people fun. know I've been working at Bloedel Gardens and creating the body of work at the museum but what those experiences have given yeah. me like painting in Portugal painting at the ex exquisite Blodel has made me see the tender moments of my own life as though they are Edenic or like paradise mm -hmm. and so these backyard ferns are that intimate moment of seeing those incredible moments of beauty in our daily domestic life. And so that's a big mission of what I like to share with my students and with my community at large, is that the act of painting is how we can engage with yeah. and uh, illuminate beauty around us. Well, I'm definitely getting that vibe from this piece. I hope Thank you guys you. at home are bidding a lot and bidding high because we have a very special story about this yes. particular piece. Um, Kimberly and I are proud to announce that uh, proceeds from the sale of this painting is going to a scholarship for the BIPOC community, so black, indigenous, and people of color. It's the first of its kind here at Gage, and I'm really so excited that this is happening here yes. and um, just, you know, responding to what's going on in the world and you know, giving more opportunity. I am beyond awesome. belief that the proceeds um, by giving money to this piece yes you're getting my gorgeous sexy ferns yeah but really Sex, what you're so doing sexy, so is sexy. directly dictating the future of gauge how we want this community to be more inclusive we want to open our doors and make our atelier programs more accessible to black indigenous people of color this should really have yeah. a bidding war going on this is yes about the painting but it's really about who we want to be as a community, a very direct way of yes. building the future that we want. So I get love, on yes. it, peeps. I love that. I love that story. And I thank you so much for donating and supporting this cause. And so you're talking a little bit about your atelier. Uh, tell people what that's about, because people might not know how extraordinary your program is. Yes, so our, yeah. Frenchy fans, our yeah. fancy French word atelier, atelier. what is so I know, awesome so about it, yeah. is it's the experience of working one-on-one, -on -one, um, well, within small groups, but with a particular instructor and really wow. learning the craft of painting and wow. sculpture. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's a unique thing to be able to do in today's yeah. world is really learn the craft and skills and trade of being an artist. Yes. And so my program in particular focuses on the poetry of color. And so oh, being able romantic. to build a unique relationship with color that you can then build your own visual poems in the world. Oh my God. So, um, yes. so uh, speaking of your amazing program, we actually have one of your students here. Come on down, David Sun. He um, <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> He um, is started with your atelier and then became an instructor yeah. who's leading the youth and teen programs here, and so that's yes. pretty amazing. So yeah. let's let's talk about that. Yes. I want to hear so from you. So awesome to see you, first of awesome all. To see you I'm too. so proud of you. In, in, and in person. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Seeing you go through the SAI program and seeing you go through my atelier and seeing yeah. you really transform your life as an artist and really re re redirect your career has yeah. been incredible to witness. It was a real privilege to be in your program. It really taught me a lot about like color, obviously, but more about being a painter mm. and developing my lifestyle as an artist. Mm -hmm. And now that's also what I'm hoping to share with the youth programs too by uh, working on landscapes, yes. and I'm going to be stealing a page out of your book with the, with the color theory and everything, nice. but teaching kids how to paint landscapes or just worlds as they see it wow. themselves, so focusing on uh, contemporary, abstract, just kind of as they can imagine it, and 
That's it. so exciting. That's so and important. as you know, art changes your life. And so it's being true. able to share that more with the community, like, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. You, That's amazing. Yeah. I want to take both of your classes. Sign awesome. up. I'll sign up for youth. I kind of look young, right? But I yeah, want to take your class and learn about yeah. color. Like, these two are so amazing. Support Thank their you. programs and Thank all the work you. that they do. I mean, and, you know, they wouldn't have been able to do this without Gage, right? That's Gage, true. Gage, right. it really connects artists teachers, instructors, helps young kids find their voice. This you is know? a life-changing community, oh. and we all know that, and we all love yeah. it, and today's yeah. the day to stand Yay. up and show it. So, well, thank, thank you, you so too much. for stopping by and sharing yeah. your story. Thank if you, you want to know more, please go to the Gage website, sign up for their classes, and donate. Yay. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Good job, Hillary. Uh, you again. Well, yeah. <laughs> Kidding. Showed was, up I like a li- bad dream. I was liking being by myself for a minute, but welcome <laughs> back. Gonna leave you welcome alone. back. Good job. <laughs> thank uh, you. Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Thank you. Uh, that is wonderful. Uh, I think I'm getting some messages here, but uh, there are many, many ways for you to support Gage. Uh, and um, these, uh, if you go to the auction items online, there's a little box there where you're just supporting programs. Uh, the youth programs, and so you can just pledge money right there. Stefano, come on in and give me some information. What? Yeah. Someone wants to look closer at the Jared Rue. Oh, the Jared oh. Rue. One second. Yes, yes. Well, we're going to focus sorry, on Sorry, I'm going to get Jared out of the Rue. way. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. You talk me them through that. Turn, yeah, I'm going to turn it towards you a little bit. It really is uh, stunning, this piece. I think it's up in over $3,000 right now, and uh, so keep that up. Uh, whoever it is uh, that we did a special close-up personal for you, I hope that you're bidding right now because we we took this moment out of everybody's day to just show this to you. I don't, I'm got guilt. I'll, I'll do anything. I know. You I know like I'll the metallic that. snow. Yes. I don't know if you're going to get that at home, but that is metallic that turned okay snow for you? is so cool. That's all right. Excellent. All right. Good job. Thank you, Stefano. Uh, there you go. If you need any proof that we were live, we're live. <laughs> Ready to respond yes. uh, right there. We're here uh, for you. Uh, somebody making very good use of their YouTube chat, uh, no doubt, right there. Uh, but as I started to say, there are these youth programs uh, and uh, the art and experience items that you can just go right into those silent items and you'll see a little box there that you can pledge right to those programs. And every single dollar makes a difference. This is the most important part of the program, Hillary. Duh. Yeah. There Raise the paddle portion is what we're coming into. And uh, let's face it, you all tuned in to, uh, to donate money to Gage. And this is the part where Hillary, Hillary and I help you achieve your goal. You've heard me say this before. It is very true. Right now, we're really just negotiating the amount is what we're doing. And we're just getting you really excited about it, too. Because <laughs> giving money feels so good, right? It so does, you should give you know, a lot. And it'll actually, feel even better. Yeah. Giving yeah. is a wonderful, feels wonderful good feeling. You can do, right? I want you to give not until it hurts. I want you to give until it feels so good that other people stop you and go, all right, you, you've given enough, really. You've just given <laughs> That's enough. That's the level of giving, right? Let's see if we can get to that place. <laughs> There's somebody else that is really excited about encouraging you. Uh, he is the uh, Gage Board President, and please say hello to Narupa Shah. Narupa? Hello. Spring is in the air, and so is hope. We are emerging from a year like no other knowing that Gage is here to stay. We proved that the Gage community has what it takes to ensure that the arts will thrive. Months of isolation and uncertainty fortified our mission to make art education available to all. Gage 360, our rapid online pivot, ensured that our students had access to their teachers. Our instructors became Zoom personalities in a flash. Thanks to them, virtual classes were not only feasible, but a success. The best of Gage and Drawing Jam had record participation, adding national and international audiences. Virtual gallery tours and lectures brought the world of art into our homes. Thanks to generous and visionary donors, we launched art to go that provided free art classes. You must remember, we did this amidst the pandemic when resources were constrained and the arts were amongst the first to experience funding cuts. 
we persevered because we believe that art is a vital human endeavor. Art is the gift that keeps giving, whether self-created or collected. It holds a mirror to the lives we live in. It touches lives and binds us together as a community. Gage stands on steady ground today. Change was inevitable, but growth is a choice. We could not have done this without you, our students, instructors, friends, board members, and donors. We are grateful to the donors that helped us weather the financial hardships imposed by the pandemic. We stretched every dollar we received to rebuild the community through art. You've helped us come a long way and now we want to go further. We want to make art accessible and inclusive, starting with youth from Seattle Public Schools and underserved communities. Like the art form we teach, we want to break barriers and be the catalyst for change. We want to invite, no, we want to embrace a diverse range of voices at all levels of our organization. Tonight, the donations we receive are even more critical to our success as we rebuild audiences and invite everyone back over the summer and fall. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and everyone at GAGE, I ask that you give generously tonight. Your generosity makes it possible for us to continue providing our services so that we leave no one behind. As the President of the Board, I am inspired by the achievements of the GAGE community and I am excited about our future. So please join me in support of Gage Academy of Art. Thank you. So now is the time for all of you to do what you set out to do, which is to participate. And that is what tonight is all about, is participation. I need you all to find a level, jump in, maybe add an extra zero or two, and we can reach our goal. My goal is to go over our goal. Uh, this is not necessarily about where Gage has come from. That is important, but this really is about where Gage is going to in an inclusive manner, uh, serving and involving the community, and that is your community. You're all part of that. So uh, you're doing a great job on these bids. Uh, that extra little attention to the Jared Rue paid off. We're getting those bids up. Keep it going. Uh, and now uh, go to the donation page on the Gage Max Giving website. You'll see all the different levels there. You don't have to wait. Just plug in your amount. You can see all the levels available to you. And uh, make up your own number. You can do that too. I encourage you to, as I said before, pledge your zip code maybe. Uh, and uh, hopefully you live on the West Coast, not on the East Coast, it's a bigger zip code. Uh, pledge your birthday, put in a prime number. I love prime numbers. We're gonna uh, monitor all the way along. Uh, and you know, before our normal uh, starting level is 10,000, but before we even get there, if you wanna jump in above 10,000, just punch that $20,000 level and that would be a great way to start. I'm gonna monitor along as you are all doing this. Uh, and I see at our $10,000 level, I am so pleased to see that Alida uh, and Chris Latham, thank you so much at that $10,000 level. I see a whole bunch of people coming on in here. Uh, thank you so much. The, the uh, Chlorfine Foundation has come in at $5,000. Thank you so much to them. Uh, Larry and Sherry Benroya, thank you also at that $10,000 level. That is marvelous. That is the way to lead us into this thing. Uh, let's see, uh, Margaret's in there. Oh wait, I'm getting some late break. Uh, the Taylors are in at $10,000. Thank you so much, Taylors. Good for you. Uh, I'm reading uh, very quickly here. Of course, they have put it in the faintest script. Uh, oh, I got the late. Oh, Kathy Sarkowski, thank Kathy you so Sarkowski. much. Thank you, Kathy. Great job there. Uh, more people. Let's see who else is coming in. It's coming at the top. 
Oh, Pamela Johnson, 25,000. That is the way, Pamela. Thank you so much. Good job. And steal in at $10,000. Thank you so much. Wowie, Wowie, and Zowie, you are lighting up the room here. Keep it up. There, as I said, there is a level for every single person out there. Uh, maybe uh, $750 is your level. And don't forget, from our $5,000 level, I got so excited about Pamela there, I forgot to announce this. From our $5,000 level down, we have a $68,001. That's right, an anonymous. Joker, I'm gonna call him a joker, pledged $1 uh, to challenge all of you to come in. But we are going to match everything, and you'll see a slide there of our, all of our donors that have gotten into that match pool, and they have put up, they said if we can come up with $68,000 and $1, they will match it up to $68,000. So give me $500, you're really making $1,000 happen. Coming at $5,000, you're making $10,000 happen. And that can go such a long way. Uh, Phoebe and Marwan, hello at $3,000. But. Phoebe and Marmot, you actually made $6,000 happen with our match. That is the way that match works. So we want to take advantage of all of the generosity of all those donors. Let's get that $68,000 going so that we match all of that. I'm going to see who else has come in here. Let's see, I've got, oh, I'm getting Robert Swain. Thank you so much, Woo! Bob Swain, $2,000. Not only hosting the dinner, also coming in at $2,000. Thank you so much. Look at these wonderful bidders. Thank you, David Dwyer. Not just donating art, also coming in uh, with $1,000. There's Phoebe Woo! Marwan, I always said. Absolutely great. Thank you, Margaret. Oh, I'm updated right here. Let's see who else is coming in. I got to go back up to the top of my list here. They are coming in fast and furious. You are doing a wonderful job. Keep it up. I've got Eric. Haroldson at $1,500. Good for you, Eric. Thank you so much. Yay. This is so exciting to see you all come in, and this is just absolutely wonderful. I got all the, oh, thank you. All of you other people, who is that right there? I got, oh, it's changing even as I'm looking. Joe and Margarita came in, and Cheryl Lazaroff Newbridge came in. Thank you so much. Margaret Murch. Oh, these are wonderful. I, I want to say all of these names. Martha Draves, good for you. All of these people, anonymous people coming in. Let's see, I've got David Robbins coming in at $2,500. Good for you. David, you just made $5,000 happen. Good for you. Uh, this is wonderful. Keep that up because that is the way we are going to get up and over our goal. Every single dollar makes a difference. I cannot emphasize that enough. And uh, if you think, oh, well, I, some people gave big money. Maybe my money's too small. None of your money is too small. Every single dollar makes a difference. And before I forget, oh, wait, I've got uh, Patricia Pugsley came in at $1,000. You just made $2,000 happen. Now, here's something before uh, I forget to mention it. Maybe you work for a corporation that matches. Don't forget to fill out that paperwork. It can make such a difference on the bottom line. We're not even gonna be able to uh, announce a legitimate total tonight because that corporate matching makes such a difference. So make, some corporations match two to one, some three to one. So make sure you fill out that paperwork. And if by chance you work for a local corporation that does not corporate match, ask them why. They should be matching, uh, and so they need a little reminder and encouragement from their employees sometimes to make that corporate match, but it makes a huge difference to our bottom line. Uh, make sure you tell people what you did here tonight, and more importantly, make sure you tell your kids, your grandchildren what you're doing. I hope they're sitting and watching this, uh, and if they are, you are teaching them how to give. I've been doing this for a long time in this area, and I see generations of givers, because uh, giving is not a genetic thing. It is a learned activity, and from the uh, signs, you are teaching them very well tonight. So keep it up. Tell them what you did. Tell your friends. Tell your relatives. Tell anybody you can about Gage, because that is the best way that this community expands. Uh, you know, we're paying so much attention, and legitimately so, to uh, STEM work in our in educating our kids. Uh, but when you wake up in the morning and you get dressed and decide what colors to put on, that's the arts. When you turn on the radio in your car. That is the arts. 
Uh, you know, I held up a sign, I think, at the auction live last, or two years ago, that, and I saw this in New York, and it, it is quite apt. The earth without art is just eh. So write it down, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but the arts play such a big part of our everyday lives, and the work that they're doing uh, at Gage uh, helps us get in touch with that. We've got some more updates. Let's see. Uh, uh, Narupa, thank you so much. Narupa, our board president there at $1,000. Good for you, Narupa. Uh, we could keep reading these. They are so much, fast, coming in fast and furious, and they are wonderful to see all of you great people. Thank you, Piper. Uh, thank you. Oh, oh, wait, here's a name. Stefano Catalani, thank you so much. It's, he was very surreptitious. While he's sitting here, he was actually donating. Very sneaky, very sneaky, Stefano, and a little self-serving, I will say, but that's good. I will encourage that. Thank you to all of you. We're going to get back to our live program, uh, but you have done a great job on this Raise the Paddle. Keep it up. Uh, oh, Steckley came in. Stecklers came in at $10,000. Wow. I am so glad that I got that in here uh, before I left this part of the program. And there's more coming in. We're going to get those in. Uh, you are just doing an incredible, incredible job. We've got uh, Chris Travellini also came in at $2,000. Thank you, Chris. So many familiar names from the past years of doing this auction. I miss seeing you. Uh, in front of me and raising those paddles, uh, but this is the next best thing. We will make it through this pandemic, uh, and we got to send a thought out right now to the people in India because they are going through some major stuff, and they need our help. Um, and so give a thought to the people in India too because they, they're going to need our help in the future to get through this. We are not all going to get through this unless we all get through this, and it's going to take every single one of us. So get vaccinated. Um, and uh, give a thought to the people in India because they, they need our good thoughts. If you pray, pray for them, whatever it takes, light a thing of incense, whatever it is, send a good thought out to the people in India. Thank you so much for the good work you did on this Raise the Paddle. That was marvelous. Uh, we are coming up on um, the end of our live. I will warn you when we have five minutes left, uh, but you've done such a good job. Do I have any more updates on our uh, Raise the Paddle that I got to get in here right now? If not, we're going to check back in on these live items. I'm going to go to my live portion on my iPad right here. Uh, it's very high tech here. I wish I knew how it all worked. Oh, Chris, you get a thank you so much at $750. That is marvelous. Good job. Really good job. I'm going to check back in on these live items. Uh, it looks like that trip, the trip to New York is up and over $4,000. Uh, the Jared Rue is up and over $3,400. Keep that up because you are just doing a great job. Kimberly's piece is up and over $2,000 right there. Thank you, Kimberly, right there. Excellent job. Uh, keep it up because you are doing a marvelous, marvelous job. It takes each and every one of you to help us get to our goal. So uh, right now, I'm going to move on, and uh, we are so grateful. Let's get Hillary back in Hi here. Hello, Ultimate Hype Girl. Well, you guys did a great job. Didn't hey, they? Norma. Hey, Leonard. Thank you. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna get uh, uh, Stefano. You're coming back in here? to set up this next video, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for the Raise the Paddle. That was so numbers. impressive. Thank he, you so much. He's busy bidding on his, on his item there. I was <laughs> bidding on the items. Thank you, everyone. We are at $254,000. So we're nice. only... Woo! $255,000. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Ruth, Ruth uh, Ross's Racist. Racist, Racist came in at $1,000. That right. means that's $2,000 with our match. Keep that going so that we make our match. Uh, that is just amazing. So we're amazing. only $41,000 away. Well, so with, close. with corporate matching, that would be like in the bag. So oh. keep it up. Uh, $40,000 is really only 40 of you out there with $1,000, or 80 of you out there with $500, or you see where I'm going, 160 of you out there with $250, or 320 of you out there with just $125. As we keep doing this, as we spread out that responsibility, the power of numbers takes over. And yeah, that does. is the secret of this whole thing. 
You're isn't really, it? Yeah. You're really good with math. I am good yeah. with math. Yeah. Yes. yes, I was going to be a math major. I didn't tell you that. You know. I wanted to thank everyone who has donated tonight. We're on our way to make the goal. And thank you. This is really about the future of the school. And I can't wait to meet you in person, whether here in the classroom or maybe uh, when it's possible and we're all vaccinated to and hug each other again. And, and next meet. year, too, when we do a, a live auction. Oh, Scott and Jenny Wyatt came in at $1,000. Thank, thank you so much. Good for you. We've got another video. Uh, mm -hmm. It is Gage in the community. And so let's look at this as yeah. we are celebrating sure. and seeing Super who else fun. is coming in. Can't uh, wait. Roll that video. Okay. When I first got in touch with uh, Tip Toland, the, um, the sculpture instructor here, and then I you know, modeled for a, a few times here at Gage, I modeled for that huge piece that, oh gosh, it must have been like uh, 10 feet long, you know, definitely bigger than life size. Basically, my role was to uh, play Mother Africa. And so, as Mother Africa, I was looking at all of the albinos from Africa and, and just seeing their plight. I know that there are other instructors at Gage who are also doing really profound things. I do public art projects. I do art activism projects, specifically around uh, immigration issues and uh, social justice issues and I mentor young people. So I'm part of a collaboration that started here at Gage uh, between an artist named Aaron Shigaki and myself. Uh, we first taught a class here at Gage for youth called Graphic Shape and Art, which was amazing. We made a big mural in the gallery. We did a couple in the classrooms and uh, that was the first time we worked together. So when the pandemic hit, uh, we linked back up and we created several murals. One of them was in the Japantown section of the CID. And that neighborhood had been hit really hard. Uh, people basically being very racist and attacking businesses in the neighborhood. And so when the city boarded it over to protect those businesses, there was a real depression that kind of went along with this, this side of this neighborhood boarded up. For the Japanese American community in the Chinatown International District, the last time that neighborhood was boarded up was in 1943 during the Japanese internment. So a lot of old trauma came back. So Aaron and I were able to use our art skills, what we've learned as facilitators in the classroom to create a community project. You are doing such an amazing job. So on amazing. This Raise the paddle, aren't they, Hillary? So amazing. <laughs> so proud of everybody. I'm pretty sure that part of the reason is because of uh, Hillary's flowers that she wore uh, on her head. I yeah. know, right? Yeah. You too can have a flower crown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, we want to thank uh, Flowers on 15th okay. also. Okay. These are amazing. Okay. Uh, Stefano's with me here. They're doing a great job, aren't They're they? They're doing an amazing job. Everyone's Keep doing such a great doing job. Doing it. Keep doing this great job. We're going to give you stop it. 10 more minutes on all of the live items. Don't Ooh. forget though, the silent items are open until 10 o'clock. We've got so many $100 donations, $250 donations, $50 donations. They all make a difference in that bottom line. Don't forget we've got, we are working that match up mm -hmm. to $68,000 and one. You can throw in $1 too at the end of yours. Don't forget to add your zip code maybe to your bid <laughs> or maybe your mom's zip code, especially if she lives West Coast. Uh, I, those are my favorite zip codes. And Stefano, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Of all of these, which is your favorite? <laughs> no. How can you well, choose Kimberly, your favorite child? It's definitely Kimberly, because if you have been following, you would know that actually yeah, I've here. been out bed twice already. Oh, you've been uh, I know who you are. Oh, yes. Gauntlet um, thrown down right there. Uh, well, all of them. They're beautiful. I mean, they really they're, are beautiful. Yes, yeah, yes. they're all stunning, of them, stunning all of them, pieces. All of them, they all of them. Yeah, I, I, I particularly, this, I think, you know, it's hard to pick favorites. This might be my The Norman London? The Norman London is really stunning, stunning. I hope you got a nice close-up of this because it is a stunning, stunning piece. And if you're like me, I don't have much room on my walls uh, because my wife and I love art and this would fit in. Honey, if you're watching, please. Uh, <laughs> these are, yeah, they're all wonderful. They really are so wonderful. And again, we, we can't do this uh, without the participation of the artists. 
And we really want to make sure to send a big thank, uh, thank you to all of you artists yes, for your thank donations. Yes, you artists. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, we couldn't do it without the artists because it's all about the art. Um, and so keep those bids going. That trip to New York is still open. We're, uh, we're about eight minutes left now. I think I've wasted two minutes here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to close uh, this section out. Uh, and Stefano, you got some closing words of uh, thank you for these people? I want to echo your <laughs> words about thanking the artists. I, really, I did a little walk through and I thanked the artists, but I think I only could talk about 10 pieces. Um, I was really humbled by the generosity of the artists this year. Um, less, you know, with these live stream events, it's very difficult to, I think, for people to beat from home, and I can see there is a little bit of reticence. But uh, so last year, maybe our artists did not get the prizes that they deserved. But this year, I was very impressed by the fact that they didn't hold back and they just donated amazing pieces. Yeah. And so this makes for a strong auction, but also speaks of how the community, the learning community, is coming together, and the artists are, of course, the backbone of it yeah. to support uh, Gage. Uh, because this money is going back into the programs for the students, you know, exactly. to make access, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, to create uh, free programs for youth or for adults, create scholarships. And um, I, I th I'm pretty sure you meant to say this tax deductible money. It is, thank you. <laughs> yes, you? It, is, it is. I, tax can, I deductible. can see that kind of stuck yes, in there somewhere. It, we're just yeah. stuck in my crowns. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the things too I want to remind people that I forgot to say before: uh, just think about this last year. Uh, oh wait, keep bidding. Every art piece, oh, is needs near. A, needs a needs home. A needs a home. home. That's why I'm Renata. here to read That's the words. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> we these don't want young eyes. right there. You don't want us reading these things. But one of the things I forgot to say is this last year during this pandemic, we have not gone out to eat. We have not taken <laughs> Ubers and Lyfts. We have not had to pay for parking. We haven't had to pay for gas. We saved a whole bunch of money. And you know who could use that money? Gage. 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 Absolutely. Yes, and so I'm just with you. Think, I mean, uh, Stefano, if you're like Stefano and you go out to eat with three other people, that easily is a $600 tab, <laughs> and that's the wine alone, right? I haven't been yet, right? but I'd like to experience that. I'm just that. saying. Yes. <laughs> I'm just yes. saying. Think it through. Yes, we have saved did. a lot. I'm not kidding. We've saved a lot of money this year. Uh, maybe you got a stimulus check from the government and don't actually need it. And that, let's face it, that applies to a lot of us. Give part of that to Gage because you can see that money so well invested. You are, it's not really, I like to think of it not as a donation. You are investing in this institute and you can see it grow. It's like planting a seed. It that is. grows and grows. Uh, and so you can see your investment really pay off here at Gage. And I, I just thank you so much for what you've done so far for Gage and uh, keep it up. Uh, as Renata said, every single piece of art needs a home. Uh, you've already, we've sold I think over uh, half of the silent items already. I'll remind you again, they are open until 10 o'clock tonight if you didn't get a live item that you wanted. If, uh, if somebody showed the bad taste about bidding you on an <laughs> item, I'm just saying, maybe somebody did and that could happen. Uh, but there are some great, great silent items in there too. I, I wanna give a really special thank to all of the staff. They have worked so hard. Yes. Throw, throw in an extra $50 in honor of the staff that have been working their patooties off. They have no more patooties. Uh, so throw in an extra $50 for them. Uh, and a big round of applause for the one and only Hillary Lee. Yes, thank you. Thank you for Great having job. me here. And I just, real, real quick, I wanted to also thank Stefano Kailani because he is what kept Gage alive. This has been a very tough year, and he's amazing. Oh he's uh, where the you. heart that beats, and he inspires people. And really, like Gage is such a center point in the artistic community of Seattle. And you know, we, this place wouldn't survive without your leadership. Wow. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. I'm humble. Thank you. You're coming like, to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I love this place. This place is so important. I would have not entered the Seattle art scene without. Um, Gage and the teen art program so I really am so honored to be here thank you so much give what you can and I love you so much wow thank you and don't forget on, on that silent uh, site those teen programs you could just donate directly on those uh, teen programs don't forget uh, I want to mention again that all of this the, the um, bids or the, the final bid the money for Kimberly's piece goes to sp support the uh, black indigenous people of color um, portion and so that is really important work also. Uh, thank you once again to uh, yes. Kanamode yes. uh, because an amazing piece and we really appreciate uh, 
that participation as well. It takes everybody to make all of this happen and you are part of that everybody. And so thanks for tuning in. Uh, I think we've got about, are we at about five more minutes or a little under five left? Uh, you can see on the site how much time is left, I believe, that's true. And uh, it'll close down regardless whether you see it or not in about uh, just under five minutes. So uh, get those last bids in. You're doing great. Uh, do I have, what am I in excess of total wise right now? Because this is a, a rough guesstimate because of course corporate matching. Do I have any idea? We're up and over 260? 268. We are that much shy of $260 thousand dollars and so we are that close that corporate matching will get us one or two more additions to that on your part if 10 of you well 20 of you came in with a hundred dollars boom there we are up and over our two hundred and sixty thousand and you would uh, see this gentleman right here smiling uh, my goal is I'm to move him to tears <laughs> but uh, he's already smiling uh, i'm smiling what thank you for having me back too it's always a joy to spend time with you and the whole staff they do such a marvelous job i can't say enough about the job that the staff here does and so stay safe out there get your vaccine if you've got your vaccine encourage other people to get their vaccines and we will get through this and i cannot wait to see you all live next year at the gauge live really and awesome. next year is on april 23 23rd oh, april 23rd uh, april Excellent. 23rd at um freeman studios Excellent. So. I'm we're looking, looking forward to, there. Ready. to be in on. person yes will you come uh duh. yeah <laughs> yeah of course i will only if you're going to be there though <laughs> there you oh i'll be there and there you have it from hillary duh <laughs> OMG. I know. <laughs> I'm in with the kids, you know, keeping a, ki keeping a hip. You know? Thank you so much. We're going to turn it uh, back over to you, finish your bidding, and enjoy your evening. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Good job. Have a good night. Good night. Stuck inside, it feels like forever So long without any end in sight Right now feels just like every other minute of every other day Hope a change comes my way All I need is love Get me through the day and through the night Love is all I need from you Then I'll be alright Forget what day it is like I'm crazy My thoughts are messy and I feel a little distressed I'm grateful I got you closer than six feet as we take each it's dry. I need to get outside All I need is love To get me through the day and through the night Love is all I need from you Then I'll be alright All I need is love To get me through the day and the night, love is all I need from you, then I'll be alright.
day and through the night love is all i need from you 